What's going on, guys? Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, Tennessee Titans newly acquired free agent Roger Saffold and kind of how this offensive line is looking and working in unison. Um, right now, honestly, just from watching past successful Tennessee Titans offensive lines, um, studying successful offensive lines, you know, it's ironic that we play Mike Munchak, but one of the things that I noticed first in a successful offensive line are how um, similar the offensive lineman stances are. Um, it almost seems as though they're forming a pocket before the pocket is formed in terms of how they're aligned, their splits, their differences. You can't see it from this angle, but as I press play and we get into the quarterback's view or the defense's view, I should say, um, of how this offensive line looks and their stances and their splits. So I'm going to let this play go on. I'm going to play it. as you. There's a motion. Tremaine Edmonds is manned up with Deion Lewis. And it's just a four-man pressure. And they get to Marcus Mariota. That's Jordan Phillips, a guy out of Oklahoma that I really liked during the draft process. But that's, you know, that's uh, beyond the point right now. So I, I freeze frame it here. I pause it here. And what I was saying earlier was that a lot of times with successful um, offensive lines, I see a little bit of a tighter fit and it's more of a, a bow, if you get what I'm saying. More like a U-shape where the tackles are a little bit out. They know that they, that's an easier angle to get in their pass sets as well as Jack Conklin over there. It's more like a, a hard U, if you will. And these three linemen almost act as a wall. And their splits are a little bit closer, a little bit closer there. But as I look at this play in particular, and then I'm going to freeze frame it again a little bit after the snap, is if I'm Roger Saffold here and I'm looking at the that, that offensive left side, defensive right, I'm looking at, I believe this is Jerry Hughes. I'm looking at him coming off the edge. I think Taylor's in a good spot there. Uh, might want to put that left leg back a little bit more just to get an angle. But if I'm looking at Roger Saffold, if a guy is kind of anchored and ready to tee off on my left shoulder, it looks like he's trying to get an angle to attack my left shoulder. So I know a lineman's, a offensive lineman's instinct is to step back and just kind of, you know, look, look at pressure from there. But I'm already thinking if I'm still going to step back, I'm still going to kind of cut off that angle that he's trying to get on me. So my first step might be back, but I'm immediately going to come down here to shift off where he's trying to come that way. Um, as we press play, I'm not sure Roger Saffold does that. So as you can see right here, Jordan Phillips has already, he lined up on his left shoulder that which would be his outside shoulder and kind of just bull rushes him and at this point Marcus Mariota doesn't have much to do his vision is more than likely skewed so he can either step up here and cause more of a breakdown there or tr try to gain depth and still trying to find somebody down the field but right now it's just basically what I see the, the Titans offensive line they're slow their heads aren't on a swivel um, they're not acting as one unit, and they're not take, taking and cutting off angles. They're not doing very good with the details of being an offensive line. Like, I'm not an expert at offensive line. What I am is I'm a person that studies the greats, and I study what is the best thing. Like, if there's an offensive line, I'm going to study the best offensive line. I'm going to study the best offensive line coaches. If there's, uh, you know, another position I haven't played, defensive line, I'm going to study the best defensive lines and the best defensive lines coaches and defensive minds. And these are some things that I'm noticing. They're not communicating as an offensive lineman during your communication. You should be constantly communicating head on a swivel and constantly moving. And as this play subsides, you see what happens. Marcus Mariota, we can't afford that. And it's just really just details of the game. Um, we have to do better. Now, this play is a Lorenzo Alexander sack. 
another motion. It's not man. It's it's definitely a different type of look. Into zone. And let's see how it looks from the defensive side. So back to what I well actually this quarterback's view. So motion, Delaney Walker motion, signifying or telling you, even with this team, you never really know the Buffalo Bills. Uh, safe to assume that it's not man coverage. Look at look at these look at these splits. Okay, so right now they're kind of linear to the offensive line, and I'm not saying that you always have to do this, but right now I think they're they're in good shape. If if anything, I would say these tackles need to be a little bit. That back foot needs to be kind of turned out, hip out. Uh, but like I said, what did I say at the beginning? They all look alike. There's unison. They're being taught the same thing. They, I know you want to get comfortable in your own stance, what works for you. And that's perfect. Do that. But I'm just saying this looks like a, a offensive line of individuals rather than one cohesive unit. And I'm just saying just from the details, it may matter, it may not. But what I've seen, it does matter. So as I press play, let's see how this transpires. And as I also said during study, they, they always have these linebackers up in your face, especially Lorenzo Alexander. Let's see what happens here. Ball snap. And it's just a simple spin move. You get in your pass set and it's almost as if you're going through the motions. You know, this is a signing that I agreed with. But right now, it's just like it's going through the motions. You know, we're not, you know, we're not getting our head turned around. We're not, we're not doing the small things correctly. So as we look at this play, we'll let it, we'll let it play. And we'll get to the, the backside view. Like this is egregious. We got to communicate better. I think this was the twist stunt, if I'm not mistaken. And this, you know, this probably comes from lack of reps, lack of like understanding that, you know, people do run. Yeah, so that's where at this point. The communication right here where Taylor Wands trying to wash Shaq Lawson this way. Saffold has got him. But the communication should have been, okay, Luan, you have to get off of Shaq and come and pick up this guy that's running free. That's communication. I don't know whether, whether to say in, 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 like during defense, a cornerback, you know, if he has some, some a receiver making an in-breaking route, you inform your linebackers and safeties it's an in route, just like offensive linemen. If something's going out, okay, switch, 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 twist, twist, twist. Something to inform Taylor Luan to get off of this block. It's just not happening right now. It is just not happening. So, as this play unfolds, okay. Boom. Sappho picks up his guy. There's a twist coming. Inform Taylor. Okay. Inform Taylor. Yo, someone's coming. Your side. Let him go. I'm going to try to pick up Shaq. Lawson. Coming in as much as I can. And Taylor, I'm going to try to get on Shaq Lawson's. Right now, I see his back. But I'm trying to get on his right shoulder and try to get underneath him and force him, you know, the right to the right of the play. And Taylor needs to open his hips and pick up Jordan Phillips. Like right now, we're just not communicating. We're not moving our feet. It's like our feet, you know, is in quicksand. We just got to communicate better, guys. This is... Unacceptable. So we got a split, another motion. Just look at this. Look at this, though. If I'm a offensive, and I, this looks bad to me. Like, look at the space here. Now I know that we're looking at it from this angle, but look at the space here. Look at how the ball is about to be snapped. Taylor's looks like he's already moving, which I'm I'm not opposed to trying to get a 
a, a, a read or a, a second faster, but it just looks like a, a line of individuals. Like, I'm pretty sure these guys have a great relationship, but it just looks like one big line of individuals. I remember this play. This left side, everybody on the left side pretty much got beat. And this is one-on-ones, you know. There's really not much communication here. You just got beat. You look at the basically this right side, I should say, with Nate Davis and Jack Conklin. You get beat by Jordan Phillips. At, at that point, Marcus Mariota does what he can. You got Jack Conklin falling. But as I look, how can you prevent that? What technique-wise prevented that from being a good play? Right there, you get beat by the swim move. Nate Davis there. I think... You were beat before the play even started simply because you thought that things were sweet around here. This is the NFL. It's not sweet. You're dealing with Jordan Phillips and you have to move your feet. You, when you move your arms, your feet should follow. You shoot your arms without moving your feet with that. You get beat. Let's go back. Well, this is Josh Allen. This is something good we've done. But like I said, just to end the video, man, it's just like it's getting beat one on one. Um, and it's communication. It's just like it just seems like a group of uh, individual players instead of one co cohesive unit. And another thing I want to say is they're in no universe, just like I said with Wesley Woodyard. Should he be inactive or not playing? Dennis Kelly has the highest pass blocking grade on this team. You have to find a way for him to get on the field. I know that he played left tackle, but you have to find a way to get Dennis Kelly on the field. Like I've already been saying, a lot of fans have been saying, you know, and I've said through just my tape study of Jack Conklin is he's a borderline tackle already as it is. And after his injury, the move to guard should have been in full effect, but whether it be his camp and him or the Tennessee Titans, that move wasn't made. The best offensive line grouping right now for the Tennessee Titans would be left tackle Taylor Lewan, right guard, I mean left guard Roger Saffold, center Ben Jones, left guard Jack Conklin, and I mean right guard Jack Conklin, and right tackle Dennis Kelly. You know, your your best pass blocker, your best pass blocker, pardon me, is on the bench. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, we got to get this together. Um, we got to protect a quarterback. One of the main, you know, battle cries that I have for this Tennessee Titans group. Um, so we got to fix it. We got to communicate better, be one group, be a brotherhood, and get it fixed. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, comment. Let me know what you think.